I use my hot breath. <sighs> oh, hello. You caught me making a mess, but having fun. All right, I am making postcards. Now, because I'm not buying anything, that's why I'm making them. So I have postcards that I have on hand that I'm hoarding. You know, some things that you just don't want to let go. So I just made copies on my printer because I do have black ink. I have black ink because I use it for work, so, um, and I pay for it. But I... kind of was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to make copies. So I made copies. And so I made these copies, eight different ones. And one of them didn't come out that great. I don't know if you can, no, it's not that one. What did I do with it? Is it this one? Nope, that's not it. Huh. Oh, here it is. So, I don't know if you can see. So, I made this. I was experimenting. So, you can barely see post and then some words. Because I did it on some coffee dyed paper. And then I used uh, index cards. I have two different sizes. Actually, I have three. One's a really big one. So, I'm not, of course, not going to use that one. So, I have basically... Uh, these sizes and this one is six by four this one's six by four and the smaller ones are three by five so those are the two sizes that I have and I've like I said I'm not buying anything this year so this is all stuff that I had on hand so this is a combination of three different people that, um, one I just found, um, his name is Antonio Makes, and I just subscribed to him today, and Joey DeFee did something uh, with postcards, and Treasure Books um, also did things with postcards that um, I followed. Okay. So, first things first, Joey DeFee did some, before I tell you that, so here's the thing. Usually when I follow the YouTubers that I watch, I kind of say, okay, do I have that? Do I have this? And then if I don't have it, then I kind of like, okay, well, let's find something else. But I happen to have some chalk or soft pastel. I guess it's considered chalk. Um, and she, Joey DeFee, was using like chalk colors to give a really cool hue. Okay, so I really liked it. <laughs> And I was like, I have these things, and this is the first time, so they used to belong to my daughter, and this is actually the first time that I've used these, um, since I started doing this videos for about a year now, but I started doing the junk journaling for a couple months before I, I don't know, maybe it was a couple years, a year, I don't know, time flies. <laughs> um... So then I was like, okay, I have other things. So this uh, I got from work, and I asked them if I could have it because we don't use this anymore. It's one of those ones where it's like answered, canceled, paid, void, billed, approved. And so it had the dates. This is why they let me have it. 2009, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, 2009 to 2014. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but I saw other stamps where they have um, the date. And there's different ways. 
that they have them. So like this has the um, month and then the date and then the time and then the year. And then other ones that I've seen, postcards, just have um, the month, the date, and the year. So this one I was kind of practicing where the stamp was stamping. <laughs> so I kind of made it better here. And then some of them, of course, have like the city and state. So this one, this one says Lynn, Massachusetts. Um, I don't even know what that is. Ohio. But I don't know what that is. So these ones have the actual stamp on it. This one doesn't have anything on it. It was never sent. But yeah, so I've just been messing around with that. Things that I have on hand. Uh, I actually just use this cap as the circle right here. And then I was looking at other uh, postcards online. And then I was also looking at actual stamps that you get. And it has that wavy line. So I was like, well, I can hand draw wavy lines. But they're not all the same. Because I don't have a very steady hand. Um, so I have these stencils. And uh, I went ahead and just cut out some wavy lines. And this is what it looks like so yeah use what you have on hand uh, if you don't have a um, copier then you're just gonna use uh, index cards and if you don't have index cards I'm sure you have cardstock um, so just giving you some ideas from other ideas, but how you may work it if you don't have a lot of this stuff. If you don't have this, I'm lucky that I had this, but I, can only, I can't go back. <laughs> I can only go to 2009 to 2014. I can't go way back to like make stuff that says 1909. But maybe I could by selecting uh, like, I'm saying like a lot today. So 19, ah, so let's see if we can do a little, let's do a little experiment. Oh, that's 91. So we got to go the other way. It's backwards, so I'm a little confused. So 19, okay, I'll get there, I'll get there, okay, I'm just checking this out real quick, okay, so you could do April 19 and then get rid of that April. Here's the tricky part because you got to do it just right. Nineteen. So I guess I could play with it and it would say nineteen nineteen. But yeah, but you don't have to use one of these. You can just um, make your own or uh, use a pen. 
So if you do that, and then you can just do with, I don't have the, a very steady hand. And I know we want things to look um, authentic, but there's a way that you can get over that. Um, get just get over that it's not going to be authentic. I mean. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oops. This is where a drafting class would be very helpful. I actually took a drafting class many, 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 many moons ago. But you get the gist. You can just practice. I mean, have you seen those people who actually make wedding invitations freehand calligraphy? So it can be done. Okay. But this is what I really, really love. If you have any of these pastel chalks. I really like the way this came out. And all I did was I used a foam one of these mo oh <laughs> these foam makeup wedges and the best way that I uh, did this is I just took some chalk and at first I was like holding it and rubbing it, but the best way not to get this other hand messy so that you can hold it down is kind of just go back and forth. So all I'm doing is going back and forth. So I'm just going back and forth with this, okay? And then picking up that chalk and then I want to get those messed up. And I can use the back side of this. Wrong one. But you know what? Let's see what it looks like on this coffee dyed. And just kind of circular motions. And just giving that age look. Pretty cool. But I liked it on the white. On this white. Not the coffee day. So I'm just having fun with my colors here. And then maybe um, some yellow, just take it like that, grab it, and then add your yellow. Okay. So I don't know if you can pick that up. But you can do it as dark as you want or as light as you want. Let's add. I wonder if we add. I don't know what color this is. It's like a gray. Let's see what happens. Just play around. Okay. 
I, you, you can't really see it on camera, but it looks really cool. Of course, this one's darker, but yeah. Okay. So then you can also, um, add your stamps. And I do have a few stamps that I keep when I get letters. Like I just got one today. Well, sorry, the other day. But I, I'm usually really good about, um, opening up my mail but for some reason this one I was not very nice to it so I did not cut it very well but it'll still work so yeah so the wavy line you can definitely do that or you can just do it by freehand um, forgot where I put it. Or you can just take a card and make those wavy lines. But now I have something that's sturdy and I'll be able to find. Okay. And I also have these stamps. Sometimes I can take these stamps off in one peel. I use my hot breath. <sighs> Can you hear that? <laughs> and it kind of works. <laughs> I just cut around it. There's lots of tips on how to do this stuff. Just search and you will find. Okay. Now, on the back side of a postcard, you usually have a picture, at least that's the majority of postcards. So, I have been going through my magazines that I have on hand. And just picking out some really pretty pictures. And I actually like this one. So sometimes I have an issue with finding a good picture here. So I'm going to just paste this down, but I want to make sure, oh, which one do I want? So I want nothing but flowers. Okay. Hopefully it goes through. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to glue it down right there. All right. I'm going to use this because it's fast and easy and it won't leave um, the lines that regular glue will leave. I'm just going to put a good layer. Don't ruin that picture. There we go. We're just going to cut it. And we have made one complete postcard in 20 minutes.
So just giving you some ideas of how to make your postcards if you're on a budget like me. And then you can um, do whatever you want on the back side. Well, last actually the front, and then here you would leave a note. You could also do. Let me just. I know we're running. We're out of time actually, but um, you can also do the lines here, and then you would have. Uh, I have a template, I believe, but you have the name. Well, I did it again. I ran out of storage. Uh, anyway, so I made just a little note. Dear Johnny, wish you were here. Much love, your sister Lola. So, yeah. Um, I actually messed up on the other one, so I had to redo the circle. Uh, but it still, still looks good, like a postcard. All right, guys, that's it for today. I just wanted to show you um, that you can use things that are on hand. If you don't have one of these um, stamps, uh, I'm sure they have them online if you want to buy them. Or you can look at secondhand stores. Uh, you can look at, you know, maybe businesses that you know about that maybe just have these hanging around and say, hey, do you have any useless <laughs> stamps that you, that I can have? Um, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you didn't totally hate the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. Ta-ta for now.